the kind of protest that was seen in Kenya lately is about to happen in Nigeria. The Nigerian youths are angry, not just hungry. They are angry. They are angry with our leaders who do not even care that an ordinary Nigerian goes to bed hungry. And that is why people are coming out to the street to say, Tinubu only, Tinubu only, APC only. Take a look at this video. Will Tinubu be able to manage the Nigerian youth when they start their protest? Nigerians, protest has begun. It has just started in Lagos. When we tell this government that what Nigerians are asking are not much, they are not much. Just listen to these people and provide good leadership to Nigerians. They don't care. They don't want to listen. Now, protest has started. And we know when Nigerian youths mean to protest, this government will not be able to manage it. They will not be able to manage I wonder if they've forgotten what happened during NSAS. When Nigerian youths came out massively, fearlessly, to confront even the security agents, they could not manage that protest. And that is where they are pushing Nigerians to. The pressure is too much. Nigeria, 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 Nige
Recently, the Senate president said no level of blackmail is going to stop them from buying a private jet for the president if indeed he needs one. And nobody is saying that nothing will stop you from providing food for Nigerians. Nothing will stop you. That's the kind of statement Nigerians are wanting to hear. These people, they don't care about the people. They don't care about the people. It is time to really give warning to this government. They should not allow Nigerian youth to come out. To come out because they will not be able to manage it. There is, there, there is anger in the land. No more hunger. There is anger. People are not happy. People are sad. As in, many Nigerians are not working. Many are unemployed. We know how many millions of Nigerians that have been pushed into poverty since the APC came into power. Nigerians have gone through a lot at the hands of these politicians. And all of a sudden, they said subsidy remover. Look at where it has landed us to. And we've also heard that this government still pays subsidies. So who is fooling who Nigerians? Who is fooling who? And that is why we keep telling them that what Nigerians are asking for is not too much. Just give us good leadership. Make life better for us. Provide good schools. Give us food. Give us employment. Make sure corruption ends. Who is fighting corruption? Nobody. The Buhari that we thought would come and fight corruption ended up being one of the most corrupt leaders. Tinubu said he's going to stop or he's going to start where Buhari stopped. And that is all we are seeing. And that's why nobody is talking about fighting corruption. The money they borrow, the, the word legs you hear after Nigeria gets any loan, they will tell you that they need to renovate this office. They need to buy this tire for this uh, bulletproof car. They need to buy new vehicle. Now they want to buy new jet. Nigerians, that is where these people are pushing Nigerian used to. The kind of revolution that happened in Kenya will not be compared with what is going to happen in Nigeria if these leaders continue to push Nigerians against the wall. So guys, I don't know what you make of this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. Thank you. The kind of protest that was seen in Kenya lately is about to happen in Nigeria. The Nigerian youths are angry, not just hungry. They are angry. They are angry with our leaders who do not even care that an ordinary Nigerian goes to bed hungry. And that is why people are coming out to the street to say, Tinubu only, Tinubu only, APC only. Take a look at this video.